Hold on to your bones, because you're back with me, Skelly Wampus, in our bite-sized redstone series. Today we are talking about comparators. I know they seem really intimidating, but they're really not. They're really not. You just It just takes a moment to click, is all. So a comparator will send the signal out just similarly to a repeater when used like this. Not really a whole lot going on. I have a 15 block long line of redstone dust and that is simply to show you this function which we're not going to talk about a whole lot because it seems like the more you talk about it the more confusing it seems but this is called subtract mode when that third little section there is lit up subtract mode and what that does is if you run a signal into the side it will actually subtract that power from the main power going in the back. And what that means is, we just flip that back, as you guys saw, it lights up the lamp because it is 15 blocks wide, so it's putting out a power of 15. Uh, one thing to note, this will not boost your power, it will simply put out the same amount of power that it's receiving through its main input. So what this means is, if I flip this into subtract mode, this is another lever, so we have a signal strength of 15 right here, and then 14 right here. And so this is outputting 14, only, wait a minute, we're in subtract mode. So we are subtracting 14 from 15, and that is why we get a signal strength of 1 right here, because it is this input subtracted from this input. And really, I don't really use them like that a whole lot. Uh, there are some functions. Uh, actually, let me just show you one really quick. Okay, so this little system right here. We have a chest, then we have a redstone block with redstone dust going into it. A comparator coming out of the chest, which we will talk more about over here. But if you just point this into a redstone lamp, the lamp will turn on when this chest is completely full. So that is a good way to know when your chests are full. And you can, of course, uh, replace the lamp with a repeater and put the lamp wherever you're needing it to go. But I don't use these a whole lot, but it is one of those things that's nice to know, and maybe you guys would like to use them yourself. Another thing, you can use a comparator to power a block, such as this, and this is actually hard powered, if you remember from our previous video, which means we can extract a redstone signal just straight with redstone. We don't need a repeater. And so that is one thing to keep in mind. You can power blocks with a comparator. And I don't have a lever over here. That's weird. If you flip this, if you flip the uh, comparator into subtract mode, you can actually run the signal back around to it and it will flash like this. And it will do that forever. These are one tick pulses, one tick power, one tick not powered. And you can use these for various different things. We will talk about these more in another episode. Uh, I had to use a piston because the lamps just stayed on. <laughs> and now, this is the main thing that most people use comparators for, or at least the main thing that I use comparators for. You can actually pull a redstone signal out of various different items by simply putting a comparator behind that item. So, for example, if we throw anything into that, it's going to put a signal off. And one thing to note, um, let me grab some redstone. I'm going to get rid of this. The signal will get stronger if you rotate the item. If you just watch that over there, and then it'll reset whenever it's full. However, as long as there's something in there, it's always going to be outputting a signal strength of one. Just one thing to remember. And 
The uh, jukebox will also put a signal out whenever you play music. In one of my old worlds, I actually used this uh, functionality to uh, open my hidden door. And ch uh, not chests, but furnaces also work. It more or less comes down to if you can put anything inside of it, you can pull a signal out of it with a comparator whenever you fill that object with what it's meant to be filled with. And these are, you know, these are great for hiding your base. You know, you have a, you have an empty furnace or something. Uh, I've also used this one before where you turn it upside down and then your secret door will open up. But yeah, they just pull a signal out of anything that has something in it, if that makes sense. And that's really as far in depth as I'm going to go here. But now we're going to go ahead and put all of these, or put some of these things together. Okay? And this is something a lot of people use for a lot of different things. I know I use the crap out of it. So we've got a dispenser here and a comparator that's going to pull a signal out of it as soon as it has something in it. And we're using the conduction, we're conducting into this block, and then I need it to boost, so I'm boosting it through here with a repeater, conducting into this block again, which is going to power this redstone, which loops back around, which turns it into that clock, if you remember. And we're also going to have this redstone fork off and power this uh, dispenser. So, if we throw a whole bunch of torches in it, you're going to see it's just going to continuously spit them, spit them out. And this is, or this is what we used to use for uh, item elevators before the update Aquatic came around and the Soul Sand, I think it's Soul Sand, is it Soul Sand or Magma? It's Soul Sand. Before we came up with the water Soul Sand uh, elevators, we used to have several of these just pointing straight up, only obviously it was droppers. And also, if you have any uh, chicken farm like the automatic uh, cooking chicken farm, this is probably the circuit that's being used inside of it to make it shoot the eggs out. Because you see, it shuts off when it's empty. And that's good, because if you have redstone going when it's not needed, uh, it does tend to cause a little bit of lag in your world. So yeah, I, I really hope that helped you understand comparators. Uh, they seem really uh, complicated at first. I mean, I it took me forever to learn how to use them. I mean, I was playing Minecraft when comparators were added, and I was like, what is this? This makes no sense. I don't understand it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope I helped you understand comparators. They're really not that bad. They just take a minute to get the hang of. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And uh, if you haven't already, give that subscribe button a little love tap. Thank you guys for watching. Toodles. Toodles.